Okay, thanks. You... So just a display of affection is kind of what fathers and sons do, right? Well, yeah, but you're not really known for your affection. Your father just died. I was, I was trying to be supportive. I appreciate it. So how are you doing? Not good. I miss Lee every day. He was kind. He was fair. Unshakable integrity. None of which I have ever lived up to. But I know he loved me. Well, I'm, I'm sorry I never met the guy. Yes. I don't know a whole lot about my own relations. I don't know a whole hell of a lot about my own life, really. Is there something in particular? My relationship with Jason. What am I looking at? You tell me. Uh, well, it's you and some little blonde kid. I'm pretty sure Monica would say that that's Jason. Oh, I don't know. It's just a kid with blonde hair and blue eyes. A lot of kids look... I looked like that when I was a kid, okay? So where are you going with this? I, I have spent my entire adult life obsessed with Jason. That's because you had a brain tumor. Yeah, yeah, well, that's what I thought, but this picture proves that there's more to it than that. This picture proves that Jason and I knew each other. No, 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 no. This picture proves nothing. Just that uh, you and whoever that is happened to cross paths. We're dressed identically. Doesn't that strike you as, like, a little odd? No, not at all. You know, a lot of kids, they like to dress like little sailor suits, this, you know, little baseball players. It, it doesn't really mean anything. I mean, it's a picture of you with some little friend of yours that was taken decades ago. I didn't have any friends. I had to make them up. What are you talking about? When I was a kid, I had an imaginary friend only. This photograph is making me think that maybe he was an imaginary after all. I can tell something's bothering you. You don't have to tell me what it is, but I'm always here to listen. I did something stupid. I don't even... I'm not even sure I knew I was doing it. Well, then maybe you shouldn't be sitting here feeling so guilty. Ignorance is no excuse. I treated someone... I treated someone clumsily. Someone that I care about. Can't you just apologize? It's not good enough. It would be a start. Yeah, I need to do more. What would it take? Figuring out how I feel. I don't envy you. Figuring out your feelings doesn't get harder than that. Any words of wisdom? Well, if it were me, I wouldn't be sitting here in silence. I would go to that person and talk it out. Usually, the last words spoken are the ones that say how you really feel. <laughs>